I have six books that completely helped and changed my faith. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm gonna show you guys a few of my all time favorite faith books. I thought I was gonna do this video talking about fiction books because I love reading fiction books as well, but I thought I should start this book series with my all time favorite faith books that help me develop and grow my faith. I do consider books to be like my mentors and you can learn so much from these authors who are way beyond wise in their faith and I love learning from people who are wise and love the Lord. There are so many nuggets you can take away from this. I hope you guys are excited. I was gonna do five books but I decided to do six books instead because there are so many books and I, I love Christian books. There is like a self-help category that I really feel drawn to. It's it's definitely Christian and faith. I will leave all the links from all these books down below so you guys can order them if you're interested in one of them. The first book is from Dr. James Dobson. It is When God Doesn't Make Sense. This book answers so many questions. I actually got three of these books and gave to them to my family because it served me that much. And I do believe that if there's somebody in your life who has a lot of questions or in the beginning stages of their walk with Christ, I think you should grab this book for them and gift it to them. I feel like it will be such a big blessing. Dr. James Dobson pretty much breaks down all of the whys. I feel like a lot of people have questions like, why the Lord let this happen or why God lets this happen or why there's sicknesses and why there's death and like all those life questions that can be very daunting and, and very intimidating to answer he does such an amazing job at answering it and the way that he wrote it is amazing it goes chapter by chapter and then like after a few chapters he does a q a and then he answers questions so for example like questions and answers his life and he just goes in depth and like answers the question i also love that he adds in the book like images and makes it very fun like there are like pages like that with images about things that he like experiencing his life and it is so good like i feel like if you are in the beginning stages of your walk with the lord and you want to have some questions answered pick this book the next book it is very beaten it is don't set up for safe by sarah jakes roberts everyone loves sarah she is such an amazing preacher like powerful woman of god every sermon that she does is like oh my gosh yes that is so good that's just ask me all the time like she's such an amazing preacher as you guys can see i want you guys to really take a look at this this book has been tossed and turned and passed around my sister got this book first she gave it to me i passed it to somebody else i got it back to me um my husband read it like it has been like all around because there are so many good nuggets about this book and pretty much sarah talks about her life and her testimony and how god doesn't want you to settle for safe the lord wants you to walk in your purpose and it just gives you so much encouragement when you read this book it is also a very short read it is not a long book and i remember posting a few quotes from this book in my instagram and i got so many questions of people like what is this book like i want to get this book it is so good and it is really good so definitely get don't settle for safe by sarah dix roberts the next book it is a book that i recently finished reading and i finished reading this book in january it was one of the first books i read at the beginning of the year and it is oh my goodness if you struggle with social media with hurry with having your spiritual health on point because you have so many distractions around you you need to read this book this book it is the ruthless elimination of hurry by john mark Comer. john mark is a pastor and he he was a mega church pastor like a very well-known pastor hey guys i'm autumn hi guys so he pretty much realized that by doing six sermons a day preaching the word of god he's a pastor it hindered his walk and hindered his relationship with the lord because 
you can follow people who are you know pastors and you can admire their faith but you don't really know how their faith looks like behind the doors and he just gave us an insight of how his life looked like and how much that affected him and all the principles that he took and put in place to help him have a more renewed walk with the Lord not allowing distractions hinder his faith and his relationship with God and this book is the type of book that you have to read at the beginning of the year every single year because it just pretty much reminds you that you know you cannot get caught up in the hurriness of the world literally like technology and family and the chaos of the world like that really can hinder you and it can overwhelm you so this book right here is amazing you need to get it and it's worth it the next two books are about prayer and prayer it is so interesting because a lot of people talk about prayer and how important is prayer but guys prayer is actually super important because that's the way that we can communicate with the lord and we can connect with the lord and prayer can also be a little tricky because people can think about how they can pray is there a correct way to pray um there are so many things to pray about and these two books are amazing and I feel like it really correlates with the season of life that I'm in and there are books about prayer that can correlate with other seasons of life what I mean by that is this book so this book is called the power of a praying wife by stormy or Marian or Marian or Martian that is not how you say it recently married I have one year married and my life right now is about being a wife and a homemaker and i really do desire to learn from women who are way more wise than me and have a successful marriage and they have a loving marriage after having kids and while having kids and how would that look like right now i don't have children so it's only me and my husband but i love learning from women who have more experience in their walk as a wife. Stormy did an amazing job of writing this book. I read it, I'm reading it again. I feel like I'm gonna read this book all the time. There are prayers in between chapters. So let me show you guys. There are prayers in between chapter. There are tools and like scripture that you can write down. This type of book is so amazing. So she pretty much goes in depth on different things in your marriage. For example, she talks about being his wife, temptation, sexuality, finances, his mind, his fear, his purpose, literally so many things. Everything that covers like wife and, and marriage, she covers and she pretty much gives us a blueprint on how to pray for certain things. I'm already taking so many things from this and every time I read it, something new pops up. So if you are a wife or wanting to be a wife, I definitely think you should pick up this book. The next book, it is Fervent by Priscilla Shearer. She is amazing. If you haven't watched The War Room, right now, after this video, go watch The War Room. The War Room is so amazing and it just gives you like so much motivation and inspiration to like be a prayer warrior and like that's my biggest aspiration in life to be a prayer warrior this book is all about that it is about a woman's battle plan for serious specific and strategic prayer so she breaks down how to pray and how to have a plan for prayer because you have to have a plan for prayer you should be covering your home your children your finances people the world in prayer and she pretty much breaks down how to do that and how to defeat the enemy because the enemy has a plan for many things but a lot of us as believers don't have a strategic plan to fight in prayer so that's what this book is about so amazing another book that i've been gifting a lot and the last book it is you are free by rebecca lyons and rebecca i actually saw her preach at my church in a women's conference like late last year and she's amazing like in real life i just love her faith and you can feel it she just preaches with so much power and wow what an amazing inspiration and model and it's pretty much about that about freedom and there are so many things that we can be free from that you probably have no idea about freedom from your past freedom from comparison freedom from expectations freedom from sabotaging literally there's so many things that i learned about myself while reading this book that i had no clue about it was something that was like digged 
deep inside of me that she pretty much brought out and I was be, I was able to get free from it and I you guys already know this I love interacting books so she did an amazing job of writing this book because after each chapter she gives you prompts about journaling so you can unravel so much by just sitting down with a pen and paper and writing down your thoughts and and, and really sitting down and thinking about things that you probably just just you know stuffed inside um, so if you are struggling with that and you want freedom she did an amazing job about this book so. so these are all six books that I really love and I really hope you guys got some book inspiration from this like I said earlier reading is such an amazing getaway and an amazing way to be mentored because I know that many people don't have the ability to have a mentor who you can meet every month or you don't have somebody in your current season of life who can talk to you about certain things so books are an amazing way to have the best of the best in your home and it can just help you unravel many things that you kind of just pushed off comment down below which is your favorite book what book do you recommend us our community so definitely comment below interact with everyone in the comments and i cannot wait to see what you guys say because i'm always looking for new books like literally i'm always in barnes and noble it's a problem thank you guys and i cannot wait to see you guys on my next video bye